What's up, One Up Nation? We are One Up for Life. I am Bobby. B. Greg. And today we're doing The Last of Us Remastered. Now, we have our second screen over here uh, for Last of Us, so when we're looking like this, we are ignoring you, but we're also watching the gameplay. It's okay. Um, so, this footage is actually brought to us by Greg. It's me. That is, that is Greg. Alright, so I actually haven't played the remastered version, but I have played the regular version. And I liked it a lot because it's a completely different take on, like, a zombie apocalypse type thing. Yeah. Um, looking at it, to be honest, I don't really see too much of a difference between the remastered and the regular version. Yeah, I mean, did you play, did you play really the regular version? Difference. No? There's not really much of a difference at all, actually. Uh, so, not really remastered then. I mean, there is, they did add multiplayer. And they did add a, a second storyline where it's a uh, the girl's view, uh, the left behind. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, there was that. There was multiplayer in the first one. I think they fleshed it out a little bit more for the remaster. And you had to pay when it first released too. Yeah. And the left behind DLC for the uh, for the original version released, I think, about a month before it. Uh, before the remastered version released. Oh. I do know the remastered version comes with all of that stuff right away, and you don't have to pay extra money for it. So that's that's actually pretty cool. I will say it looks a little bit more colorful than the original did, but graphics-wise, it's not that much different. No. Well, there, you, you see a lot more, like, it looks air smoother. particles. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot more air particles. It's a little bit more, um, yeah, smoother, co more colorful. But it, it doesn't look any more realistic than the original did. Now, as far as like stuff to pick up, I played it on medium whenever I, whenever it was on the PS3, and mm -hmm. for PS4, I just went straight to hard, the hardest. So, uh, as far as drops, I I don't as like items you could pick up, I wouldn't know the difference between the remastered and this or the PS3 version. But I mean, the hard. You, you get like nothing. There's like no yeah. drops, which no is items expected. Get picked up. Yeah, and it takes it takes more hits to uh, kill your enemies in yeah. hard as well. Basically, I'm going into every single situation with one bullet and no weapons whatsoever. So <laughs> you basically have <laughs> to sneak around punk. like I'm doing and take out all the guys that way. So yeah. it's pretty much a survival thief. Yeah, kind of. Uh, but it's also one of those things where they try to make it as realistic as possible. So if you're not in, um, or not in, if you're in a kind of like apocalyptic type thing like this, you know, you're not going to have millions of bullets and running around and having fun, given you have that with Left 4 Dead and it's, that game's amazing. But this it's one definitely holds realistic. more true to like, okay, you are alone, you are in complete survival mode and people are trying to kill you. You know, and not all of your resources are, uh, actually none of your resources are, like, unlimited. So it it definitely has that holy crap feel to it. Um, and it's definitely an intense game. Yeah, I know when I was playing the original version on the PS3, I went into panic mode very many times. I personally never even played it. I only watched Greg play it, and I went to panic mode watching him play the game. Um I honestly think my favorite part about the game is it honestly reminds me of Walking Dead or, or how a Walking Dead game should be. Yeah. Mm. Honestly, because if, I mean, if they actually used the characters from Walking Dead and made a game just like this, graphically, story, survival mode, I'd probably be all over it. Especially if they allowed you to choose different characters. Like, I would choose Michonne in a heartbeat to go to oh, the yeah. world. Oh, yeah. I, I'd pick Rick. Just, You'd pick just Rick? The dictatorship? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I just, I just want to walk around. Rick is yeah. bad. Guard I know he's a bad. He he's back. taking pulls out. Wait, left that doesn't right even make sense for you. Hand. Why wouldn't you pick Daryl a crossbow? Oh, you know, I would pick Daryl. I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Exactly. Well, and you know that they made a Walking Dead game that's like I know from Daryl's perspective. I, I want to pick that up. I, I really do. You should. He has a crossbow on the actual like cover of the case, and I'm just like, yes. <laughs> I watched a couple of games yes. of that. It was pretty good. Is it? Yeah. I'm going to have to watch. I'm going to have to watch some videos of it before I pick it up. Because that's what I do. I watch these things before I actually pick up video games. Which is what you should do for us. Which is why you're help here. us. <laughs> and we can get better. Hopefully. The one problem is I have with this game is whenever you're silently choking someone out, there's no, like, quick takedown that you can get out of that choke. Oh, yeah, no. 
Like, as soon as, like, you're choking somebody out and somebody would spot you and start to run at you, you're you just still fucking choke choking them out. <laughs> then he, he gets to you and you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> just wait, just wait, 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 wait. Yeah, still breathing. Shh, 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 wait. Every single time that happens, I'm just, like, pushing all the buttons. I'm like, what? What do I have to do? <laughs> he's he's using that yeah. first roll that we announced. Yeah. <laughs> Stop hitting the controller so hard. That's why they're broken. No, I, I was hitting all the oh, buttons. Oh, you're hitting all the buttons. You're just trying to smash I'm just trying to figure out. Come on! I'm just trying to figure out which button it is to get out of that situation. Yeah. But I will, if you haven't played this game, the uh, the storyline of it is essentially you are... I forgot his name. I completely forgot the main character's name. Um, but you are a guy, and <laughs> you are trying to transport this girl... Ellie. All the way, yeah, Ellie. Thank you. All the way across the country uh, to California. You start off in Maine, I believe, or is it Massachusetts? I don't know. I forget. It's, it's one of the very far east states of. I know you go through Pittsburgh. The US. You do go through Pittsburgh. That's uh, my favorite part. I'm pretty yeah. sure this is Pittsburgh. I think it might be. Yeah, because they're trying to get to the bridge right now. Yeah, uh, and you know, one of the things that um, I liked about it was that you did travel through the entire United States, but you did it in a way that it wasn't like, there's a guy behind, there you go. <laughs> no, there was a sniper up there. I was oh, trying to make sure he, like, didn't, he wasn't there doing? while I was trying to choke this guy out because there's, he's right there. And there's a guy right there. He, he don't see you. Run. Run. He's kind of moonwalking. Got it. Okay. <laughs> um, you go through the entire United States, but it's not like you hit every single state. You go, it's like, kind of like playing the key games on like EA But I will Sports say, they, they actually featured our little quaint Horrible oh, a city. Bit. Yeah, they had a little brief horizon of Harrisburg. Yeah, we saw we saw the uh, we saw the skyline. That was yeah, about it. That was We're like, hey, hey, that's the only interesting hey. part about our city. Don't visit. I, I know that part. Don't yeah. visit. There's nothing here. It really is. Our government's just as corrupt as the entire government. <laughs> We're going on a completely different tangent. Now. It is game wise, <laughs> but um, yeah, you're going across the entire United States to try and get to this like research Safe facility. Haven. Yeah. It's a safe haven slash research facility uh, in California, and you end up running into your main character's brother at some point in time, and there's some stuff that goes on, but it's actually a very, very well done game, and one of the characters in the game, whose name I forgot as well, uh, she looks like Solange Knowles to me. I have no idea who the hell you're You don't know about. what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about? It's the girl who gave you Ellie. Yeah, the, the Oh, okay, African I know what you're talking about. Yes. That, yeah. Yeah, she I looks like Solange. I don't know who the actresses you're talking about. It's Beyonce's sister. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna find. It's King, it's King Bee, seen... Queen Bee's. Wow, King yeah, Bee. King Bee. Wow. Well, okay. She does look manly in that one po- picture. Though. <laughs> that Super Bowl. <laughs> that Super Bowl picture. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a split screen right here of Solange <laughs> and whatever the hell that girl's name is because I forgot. Um, don't judge me, but. It's kind of funny. The game is very, very good. I, I like the game. I like the game a lot. It's written perfectly, I think. It yeah. has a great story. It's it's funny because the story is amazing. The gameplay is amazing. The characters are completely forgettable, except for Ellie. And you can tell they're completely forgettable because I can't remember anyone's name. I'm except sorry, for though. Ellie. I hate <laughs> Ellie. Joel. Joel. That, Joel. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that was just too difficult. Okay. Just sitting here thinking about it like time. <laughs> yeah, so, Joel, thank you. What were you saying? But you I, hate Ellie? I don't like Ellie. Why do you hate Ellie? She's annoying as hell. She's supposed to be. I don't care. She's 13. Gotta be honest with Still? you. Gotta be honest with you right now. There's been three, no, four or five separate occasions where Ellie has fucked me so badly like I'll be sitting around the corner and she'll be like I, I'll just like recently climb out a window and I'm like duck behind something and a guy's coming at me and Ellie instead of coming out the window goes around out the door past the fucking enemy and like blocks me from trying to get the enemy okay but the the hilarious part about that is that when you're in cover Ellie is completely invisible to the enemies yes exactly it's, it's hilarious because I've had that as well when playing it on the PS3 version, she where says, hey, I'm in me. cover, I'm in cover, and she runs in front of an enemy, bumps into the enemy, the enemy moves sideways, and she just keeps running, and he's just. Uh, That's why I hate, uh, I hate games with two people. Like you have to 
you have a, a second person with you whenever you're yeah, trying to get that through you something. pretty much have to take care of. Yeah, I think that when it's games like that where there's two people, there should be a co op mode because that way it's you would have a lot more fun covering your friend's back yeah. than having to control one person and one other person just blindly following you around. This is another thing with this game. It is since it's got remastered, it's it's got these points where you'll get to a spot. And like the 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 guys that are supposed to come out don't come out. Yeah, they'll be they'll be sitting there like they're frozen. It sounds like a programming glitch. It it might be a programming glitch. I've had a guy walking kind of, towards me and just fell to the ground. It's kind of really? disappeared. It's, it's I wish their I sensors recording. off. Possibly. Could it be because of the data restrictions on the game? Oh, uh, maybe. When they remastered but, it. Even still, though, you would think <laughs> he looked right at you. Yeah, because he st- he'll, he'll still notice me if I'm if I would look at him. But other than that, I mean, it's a sensory problem. Yeah, it, it, it's either a sensory problem or they just this does this a lot. Well, it's and it's also because the coding for the P- PlayStation Three and the PlayStation Four are different, Completely. so it's not an easy just port and graphical update for a remastered title. I mean, you know, it's gens. it's complete code reproduction. It's re-debugging, re-debugging and everything like that, so it gets a little bit wonky, and I guess certain things like that, like certain spawn points for enemies and, you know, Just enemy trails and stuff like that, they're not registering as well as they thought it might. And, you know, that's an easy patch fix. You know, that, that shouldn't be too much of a problem, but it is a little bit, um, you know, disheartening, especially since that was an ugly couch. Why would you put the... Oh, that chair fell over. That should have made you turn around. No, <laughs> it's normal. But um, on to the multiplayer of this of this game because I played multiplayer on the PS3 a little I, bit. I actually like it. It's fun because it's not a Call of Duty style running yeah. gun. Running gun. It's third person, which is really cool, and you have to craft your equipment on the fly. So you can get the nail bomb, you can get the med kits, you can get the molotovs, you can get the smoke grenades, but you have to craft them. Yep. Um, and you can get different. Different weapons like the shorty, the silenced shorty, the uh, silenced pistol, the bow and arrow, which I use a lot. Um, you know, assault rifles. It, it's it's really really nice because again, ammo is not plentiful. You have to really really ration yourself on ammo. You can make different melee weapons, but they will break after a certain point in time, and you don't have that much health. So you really have to play. The multiplayer, like you play the single player, you have to play it stealthy. You have to be strategic because if you're not, you can't run and gun in this game. Because if you do, you're going to die every single time. So in the multiplayer, are you actually going up against different users or are other users as clickers? Uh, you're well, going up as different it, users. It's, it's it's basically two, like one group would go up another group, like Walking Dead, like Rick's group and it's the governor's, governor's group. group. Okay. Yeah, it's it's very like. This faction of survivors versus this faction of survivors. I wasn't sure if they gave you like an option to be just a regular person or if you could be a clicker. No, you can't be an infected as of yet. Um, but hopefully that'll change. You never know, though. It, it, I don't think it was ever in their actual mindset so, to have you play as um, a clicker. the infected because the infected are just they're mindless. They, yeah. they don't have any kind of control. It's all, like, primitive. So you can't really strategize as a clicker, you know? Plus you can't see. You can't yeah, you can't see anything. Around. Clickers are completely blind. That's why they click. Because they're it's kind of like sonar. And they're a pain, too. Because yeah, you, oh, yeah, I know they're You pain. can't, like, you make any small sound. Like, if you step on glass, they screech and they come flying at you. What was that? Yeah, it was another glitch. <laughs> that was that was strange. <laughs> Went slow mo that real quick. Um, he was like, I like how he had the steps and then like, he saw his back no, he saw his friend get beat. He said, shot. "Huh, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. Can't do this." He said, "Nope, no, no, no." I don't even like these guys. They're super weird. Oh my god! But all right. So so far, um, so you said you had you haven't actually. Pl- <laughs> I'm at you hit him with the bottle. Yeah, it's a good distraction. Bow. Okay. So, with me playing it, with you playing the remastered version and the original, and you watching, right, what do you rate the game? 
Uh, without playing? Yeah, as a complete spectator standpoint, what do you rate the game? Four, just because I don't know the actual mechanics and the gameplay value without actually experiencing that myself. I'm going to place that at a four, visually, and storyline. Four out of ten or four out of five? Four to five. Four to five? Okay. Uh, what about you, Greg? Uh, I'll give it a four and a half. Because, also out of five? Yeah. <laughs> just want to make sure. Because... I don't think like, we ever rated glitches. anything out of 10. I'm just making sure. <laughs> like, yeah, like, you started out with 5. Like, why would you I want to make 10, sure. 5, 10, 5, 10, 5, 10. I want to make sure that we're 20. still on the same page. <laughs> yeah. I'll give it 100 out of what? 2. All right. I just want to make sure we're still on the same page here. All yeah, right, but see. about the... I'll give it a 4, 4 and a half because the glitches and the just the problems with it, they just need to get it fixed. From the from the PS3 version, because there wasn't that. From when I watched you play, there wasn't that many glitches in the yeah, PS3 in the version. Yeah, in the PS3 at all. version, it was fine. Oh, um, the PS3 version, it was very very smooth. Yeah, um, and then again, like we said, next gen, different hardware. Yeah, I I figured out that every every game that's trying to work with the new gen has a glitch. Yeah, yeah, some kind of glitch in it. Battlefield has problems. This has problems. I mean... That's a problem. They're just trying to figure out a, a way to get games to work properly with it, I guess. I don't understand why. Uh, they had the same problems when PS3 and Xbox 360 dropped, too. Yeah. It's just... Yeah, when, it's when, it's a new, it's when it's a new gen, it's a new issue. Yeah, it's expected. Um, so, for my rating, honestly, out of... Playing the PlayStation 3 version and watching the PlayStation 4, I don't see that much of a difference. Um, if, it, if we were doing main, just solely the PlayStation 3, I would have said 5 out of 5. With the glitches, like the two glitches that I've seen in the game and then you telling me that there's other glitches, I would probably give it a 4 just because it's a remastered version, so I know it's not going to be any, not really any different than the yeah, uh, original. It's not really different. But there's, it doesn't look remastered to me. It just looks like a port, and they just decided to say it's remastered. Um, you it know, it's not like, like a money maker ploy. Yeah, it's honestly. not like how it really does when they when they redid like the Kingdom Hearts series for the PlayStation Three. Yeah. They said it was the HD remix, but when you look at it and you look at the old games, you can tell the difference. Mm -hmm. And I don't know for if it's just because this, it's an older game. I think that's the fact because this what release what November of two thousand thirteen. Mm hmm. And then by January of 2014, they were announcing the remastered version. So there's yeah. not too much of a time gap between they're actually upgrading the game at all. Yeah, no. I mean, I think I mean it looks beautiful. I think the next step would actually be using live people, just be based on it because I mean the graphically, visually, it looks beautiful. So the closest you're going to get to realism is we're going to actually use real people, and Ellen Page is going to get beat up a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. But um. Yeah, I think honestly we've touched everything that we want to do with this game. So uh, yeah, on average, uh, all of us out of five, we're gonna say it's four four twenty five, four and a quarter out of five, um, which our average. And if you haven't played this already, you should definitely pick it up. Um, if you picked up the remastered version or the PlayStation Three version, that's completely up to you. They honestly seem like they play exactly the same. And depending on if you have the PS4 at all, so yeah, if you don't have the PS4, pick it up for the PS3 because honestly, PS4. Oh, just yeah, or you get, can just get with the times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> catch up. You, you need to upgrade. All right. Before they stop making PlayStation Three games. This is yeah. This is true. I mean, I still have an original Xbox, but that's just me. But um, we want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know how we're doing. Let us know what you think. About the... I got it. Uh, <laughs> Let us know what you think about uh, The Last of Us, either the original or the remastered. And before we go, we always do the Gamer Rules, brought to you word. by B. Brought so what do we have today? B. Number three, when playing an online game, don't be that guy or girl who blasts music and annoys the shit out of everyone online. Granted, now I create this. I'm so guilty of this because I just forget sometimes, and I get so pissed off when playing I a yell game. At you you I'm do like, yell at me. Shit down. Like, I barely <laughs> hear my game. But I get to the point where I get so pissed off that I don't want to hear the game or anyone. I just like zone out to my music, and then it's probably 20 minutes later. Greg is screaming and telling me to shut All it right, down. Can you hit record again? I say you probably just have time limit. What do you think? Um, 
You're, yeah, pretty much. I get yelled all the time for playing music. Yeah, you you are definitely. Uh, but I'm. Uh, you're I, guilty. I am very guilty of it. But a lot of the times when I'm doing it, it's not like we're in an open chat, so it's not like everyone can freaking hear my music. It's just only the people in our party. So I expect them to yell at me, but it's like I'm not going to interrupt everyone else who's on the team outside of my party's gameplay with that. Okay, given it's it's also another thing because I remember when we were playing online the one time we were playing I think it was Black Ops Two, and in <laughs> it was the first night it really in the, yeah it was in the middle of one of our matches we hear this guy playing I think it's a Wiz Khalifa playlist that he has no going it on. was the Maroon Five featuring Wiz well, it, okay because we heard work hard play hard. And then all of a sudden, payphone came on, and this man went hard, and he started singing along with it. We were dying. He hit that high note, though. He did. It was hilarious. It was like Adam Levine was talking to us. It, it was it was so great because we were laughing so hard at this, even though it was really annoying. And then after the game, we looked at his stats, and he went like twenty one and six. So we didn't complain. Yeah, we didn't complain that much. He carried you, our team. If you can carry a team and blast the music at the same time, I understand it a little bit more. It's still annoying. But if you're just blasting music just to blast music... And you're doing kick-ass? Which, I'm not going to lie, that can back me up because everyone knows I can go hard on Black Ops Battlefield. Fuck off. But Call of Duty, I can I can, I can, can handle my ground. I'm saying if you put me in Halo and put Cinderella Man by Eminem on in the background... This is a good point. That is I'm, an I'm, ultimate death wish for this guy. Yeah. it It's it's over. <laughs> Straight Bankai mode. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Yep, that's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, 1UP Nation. Uh, once again, I am Bobby. B. Greg. We'll talk to you next time.